Flames of War brings you the battles of World War II in epic 15mm scale. Go to the hub on beastsofwar.com to find news, tactics and tutorials about the game. Anime cyberpunk style meets skirmish combat in Infinity. Experience eight high-tech factions and fight to control the human sphere at the Infinity Hub on beastsofwar.com. So, hi guys, welcome to What's in the Box. Myself and John are sitting down for another Warlord vehicle. Right, mm -hmm. what have we got today, John? This is a kit I've been looking forward to for a while because for a long time it was in resin and it's finally in plastic. So this is the Scout car, the American M8 slash M20. So this builds two variants out of the box, okay. which is very good. Okay. So, we always like dual kits. Hard plastic, brilliant. Mm -hmm. Let's crack the box open. Go ahead. And get a look at it. So, if I... Pass all the sprues over to you. Yes. I will quickly show people the artwork. Mm hmm. Yeah, if I can close the box again. If you can close the box again. So, there is the artwork of this lovely little vehicle. Yep. It is a, a very charming little thing. Mm -hmm. The one obviously in the foreground is the M8, the one in the background is the M20. Okay, well, if I flip this over, you'll get a better idea of what we're looking at. Mm -hmm. So, the M8 is the one with the, the sort of open top turret. Yes. And the other one's just uh, just a, uh, basically a hole with a big open space in the top, yeah. Yeah, and just a uh, 50 cal turret ring. Mm -hmm. Okay, well let's get straight into it. What have we got in the box? Right, well, we'll take this sprue first. Okay. So if you pass that under close cam for me. Okay, so uh, I'm assuming lower body. Yep. Turret ring. Yep. Uh, front mantlet, back mantlet. No. No? Uh, gun mantlet for the turret. Uh -huh. Front of the turret. Okay. Uh, I assume then we have just the two sides of the vehicles. Yep, we have the left and right hull. Yep, and, and I believe back. this is the rear plate. Yes. Okay. So, next proof. Next. Okay, so on this one we mm -hmm. have. Da -da -da, we have upper hull. Yep. Uh, 50 cal? Yeah, that's a 50 cal. Uh, 30 millimeter cannon? 37 millimeter. Oh, 37 millimeter. Yep. Okay, and a bazooka. A bazooka, of course, you need a bazooka. Exactly. Uh, internal crew compartment. Yep. Uh, I'm guessing this is the, the box piece for the M20. Yes. Uh, I'm guessing this, if I flip it round, if you look at the is side. the front plate of the actual vehicle. Yeah, it is. And we then have a little crewman. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. See, see, I'm getting better at this. <coughs> he's getting, getting better at this. He's getting better. I don't have to say as much anymore. You see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, this bit is front of the wheel, back of the wheel. Yep. We then have these, which are two antenna. Yep. We have then two hooks. Yep. Uh, we have the... Lower uh, mechanical components, so mm -hmm. drive shaft, uh, suspension. That's your front axle. Okay, front axle there. And rear axle two there. Back axle, two back axles, yeah. Okay, and this bit I'm not sure of. That's probably the steering component. Uh, no, actually, I'll tell you what. Yeah, it's part of the suspension. Part of the suspension. It goes on here and here yep. on the rear. Okay, so that's that sprue. Okay, and We're final sprue. this one pretty quickly. Yep. Final sprue is the business end. Well, so what oh. we have here is your main turret. Yep. Turret basket, mm -hmm. upper ring, yep. and another upper ring. So one's for the M20, one's for the M8. Yep, I believe the one with the three spigot is the M8, and this one is the M20. Okay, uh, we then have running lights here. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a couple of little boxes, I'm not sure what they're for. Are those crew seats? Uh, no, no, they're, they're not, not crew seats. Uh, we're then moving up through mechanical components. I'm not sure what these are, John. Uh, let me have a look. Okay. Uh, uh, what, pull these? Up. Yes, those. These? The, these are um, ammunition carriers for the bazooka. Okay. Uh, we then have, actually, the wing mirrors mm -hmm. <laughs> on it for some reason. Uh, open hatch, uh, part of the gun. A uh, little tiny machine gun for the turret. Mm -hmm. Then we have the two crew seats for in the actual turret basket. Yep. We then have a radio set. Yep. Uh, th those aren't wing mirrors. No? No. Okay. What are they? Th those are bump stops for the crew hatches. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, they're shaped like wearing mirrors. Alright, alright. So I made a guess. Mm -hmm. uh, we then have hatches for the hatches being <coughs> open, mm -hmm. uh, which is also these components down here. Yep. We then have the two closed hatches, because you can do it either way. Mm -hmm. uh, we then have this, which goes on underneath one of those slopes. Yep. So if I flip it over, I believe. I think it's some form of spare wheels. Uh, those it? are mine racks. Mine racks? Yep. Okay. Uh, we then have jerry can racks as well. Yes. And that's it. Yes. So, John, what was this little vehicle used for? This was uh, the sort of, I think this was the mid to late war sort of armoured reconnaissance. This was the answer to 
um, armoured infantry and armoured divisions that needed reconnaissance and force. As Patton very much liked to say a lot, he um, did reconnaissance and force, which essentially meant he moved his entire division forward 30 miles. <laughs> right, so but basically he doesn't need a scouting line whenever the front line is further forward than any other force. Yeah, pretty much. But the, <clears throat> the, the M8 and the M20, uh, the M8 in particular was nicknamed the Greyhound mm. um, for two reasons. One, it was incredibly fast. It pulled about 55 to 60 miles an hour if you were really, <laughs> wow. if you were really hauling ass, this <laughs> yeah. thing could do 50 or 60 miles an hour. I'm guessing on road. Yeah, okay. you wouldn't want to do that off-road in that thing at all. No, no, no. Uh, no, no, there might be a broken bone or two. Yeah, exactly. But the other point is, uh, the other reason it was called the Greyhound is it was quiet. Hmm. This, this thing ran really quiet. Right. I've, when I've seen them at the War and Peace show and stuff like that, hmm. you don't hear them until you, they're past you. Really? Yeah, they're very, very quiet and very nippy. Uh, again, something very good for a scout vehicle. Yeah. Of course, because it's a scout vehicle, it doesn't have a lot of armour, hmm. and it has a 37mm gun, which is essentially useless on anything that isn't a half track or a lorry. Yeah, I, I was just stages. thinking uh, that size of a gun, the only thing I'm going to shoot it at is a Hannah Mag. Yeah. 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 Or maybe, did it have a high axe shell? Uh, 37mm. Mm. I'm, I'm just thinking building clearing if it, it did. It possibly did, but probably not a very effective one at the, mm. at the size of the round. Um, uh, I was just thinking fire into a building. Well. You know, high explosive shell in a building, clear out, job done. It wouldn't be a very big explosive. It would be not much more than a hand grenade in ineffectiveness. Uh, fair enough. Right. Uh, the other things we get <coughs> in the box is yep. we get a transfer sheet. Yep. And I'm actually surprised. You can actually see this one really yeah. well compared to some of them we've done so that's, before. That's all your general alphanumerics and mm -hmm. your stars and your um, little American flag. flag. Yep. Mm -hmm. So standard. Also, yep. have a nice instructions. 3D instruction manual. Mm -hmm. And the page we're on actually is going to show you how to build the, the M20 <coughs> on this side yep. and the M8 on this side. Right, so, shall we step away and build this? Yes, let's, let's build All this right, thing. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll build it. Okay. Be right back. From Viking halls to the cities of the future, terrain buffs will love our foreground hub. Watch gaming tables of all genres come to life at beastsofwar.com. Become a general of mighty armies at the Kings of War Hub. Take command of elves, dwarves and orcs in this game of masked fantasy combat on beastsofwar.com. Okay guys, we're back. We have the Greyhound built. Mm -hmm. So we've built the M8 variant of this little vehicle. Yes. And it's, it's <clears> quite nice. It's a very handsome little vehicle. Mm. Um, it's uh, some, something you see a lot of at military vehicle shows, particularly the bigger ones. Mm. And they're also very desirable if you have enough money to throw at one. I, I'm guessing <laughs> the issue is having enough money to pick up one of these little chappies. Well, last time I seen one for sale was 45,000 euro. Lovely! Um, so that was a no. <laughs> yeah, that well, was a no. It's, it's one of those things when you're trying to build or to buy armor in the real world, all of a sudden those numbers, you know, we look at this, say, Okay, there's the price of the box. I can live with that. I'm happy with that. Yep. You go to the real world and you go, it's worth how much? Huh? It's worth one and a half mortgages. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. Well, the, there was a beautiful moment of whenever your dad brought the Sherman home for that first time. Mm. And your mom just looked at it and went, but it's a pile of scrap. It's an investment. <laughs> <laughs> it ended up being an investment. Yeah, well, guys, that is the, the Greyhound for the Allies. Mm -hmm. uh, John, do you have anything more historical to say about this? Were there any heroic actions? Um, not to my knowledge, no. Okay. I do know if you go on YouTube and check up, uh, what was that program? Lock and Load with Harley Army. Aye. He covers a bit in the Greyhound and it's pure Americana hilariousness from, uh, from the get-go. Okay guys, there's one for you to check out. <laughs> Myself and John will move on here. We'll see you in the next video. Venture into the dangerous dungeons of myth as a mighty hero and stand against the darkness. Visit the Myth Hub on beastsofwar.com and begin your story. Keep your blaster handy, the West is a dangerous place. Fight to survive as men turn to monsters and the dead rise on the Wild West Exodus Hub at beastsofwar.com.